Hey good people, it's Mark from Vintage Audio Nagoya and uh, here we have a uh, double whammy again. We've got an Elk PA system and uh, Ace Tone EC20 echo chamber. So uh, let's get right into it. I'll give you some close-ups of each here in a second. Uh, this is the uh, Ace Tone which uh, was a precursor to Roland. Uh, this was made right, right before they became Roland actually. Now uh, let's take a quick listen to this. Here's no echo whatsoever and uh, no echo and uh, we can throw some reverb on to both the mic and the guitar. Check. Check. That's the reverb from the PA system. That's the reverb maxed out. Check, 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 check. Now, uh, of course, you can turn the reverb or the echo off individually on each one of these uh, separate channels here. Now, let's throw uh, some echo on. First one. Check, check, check. Uh, let's make sure we got everything going here. I think we do. Check, check. This is a real slap back echo, real brief. Check. Check. Now, we can adjust the amount here. Check. Now, uh, one neat feature here is there's no VU meter, but uh, this light will blink, you know, and corresponding how much uh, Input there is two, two, two. Check. check, check. Another pretty, pretty quick, quick echo. echo. Check. 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 Check, check, check. Yeah, maybe yeah, four or five, five, I guess. I guess. Check, 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 check. They fade, they fade out. out. Check, check, check. Uh, a little, a bit, little longer, bit longer, a little bit slower. Bit check, check, check. Check, check, check. 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 Last switch, check is three, four, and five buttons together. Check, check, check. Check. Now you can use check, check, any of these at the same time. Just push two buttons down. Check, check, check. Or, you know, any two or three buttons you'll want to try to get down at the same time. Check. Now, I will say this about this echo chamber. I don't know why it is. Check. But there's not a lot of oscillation. There's not a real lot of echo. Uh, check. Check. That's about the max check echo that we get out of this machine. So I've seen others. This is the only one I've had. But I've seen others online that uh, seem to have a lot more echo. So... I'm selling this one as is. Uh, I, I'm not a real mechanical uh, expert. Actually, I'm pretty good with mechanics. I'm not a real good electronic expert. Toot my own horn there. But uh, it, it functions fine. And as you can hear, we're getting echoes. And everything seems to work as it should. Uh, you know, we turn down echo, no echo, echo, uh, echo, the amount. Check, 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 check. That adjusts the length of it. Time, 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 time. So everything's working as it should. This is, uh, uh, I'll turn this down, but this is the volume control over here. So uh, as you can see, everything is working as it should. But again, I just, we just don't seem to get enough echo in my opinion. So. Uh, but anyway, I'll get you some close-up pictures of it here. You take a look at it. 
Uh, somebody with a little more knowledge might be able to get in there and uh, tweak it a little bit and, and get some more echo out of it. It's a beautiful machine in every way other than that. Uh, as far as the elk is concerned, uh, they're, I know they're just not that uh, valuable, but they sure are cool. And uh, it's a six channel PA with uh, packing a lot of punch and a lot of control and options here. So uh, I'll put it up at, with a decent price and hopefully somebody can utilize it because it's in great shape and it's uh, a nice unit. So I'll get you some close up pictures here in just a second. Let's take a quick look at this echo chamber up close. I've already undone the uh, two on the side here so we can pull this cover off, make it a little easier for me. But as you can see, it's in really great condition. The Tolex is in real good shape. Uh, everything about it is uh, pretty clean. A uh, little scuff on this corner, I guess, but it's pretty minor. So let's pull this cover off, take a look inside. Uh, again, you can see inside the cover is real nice. Uh, the chrome is, you know, decent. These sometimes uh, lose a lot of that paint, and this one's still looking real good. So here it is inside, tape spinning around as we speak. Check, check, check. test. Yeah. We still got the microphone hooked up. And uh, again, you can see how clean it is inside. And here's our controls again. Echo time, time, time. And uh, high, low inputs, echo depth. Here's how we switch between our choices. This is a treble. 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 I don't know if there's a lot happening with the treble button switch, to be honest. Okay, but you get an idea uh, how it looks. And uh, please take a look at the detailed pictures. Okay, here's a real quick close-up look at the Elk uh, PA-101. And this is uh, channel 6 and reverb on, off check uh, here's five check check off uh, with the reverb and again you can adjust the amount of reverb you want over here uh, pretty decent spring reverb on board here uh, we're on to four four check 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 uh, this doesn't get a lot of use so those pots would clean up I think check with some use check check uh, bass Reverb off and on. All these switches work if we don't go through each one. Check, check. But everything is working fine on it. Bass, bass, treble, treble. And input one, check. Reverb on, check, check, check. So a pretty decent unit. I'll flip it around, take a look at the back. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, here, I'll throw a quick light on it just so you can get a better feel for uh, how illuminated it can be Ooh. Oh. too much okay the elk okay here's a quick backside shot of both kind of an interesting little cabinet back here uh, that you can use to store things in there's no uh, need for it really uh, the cord stores on the back as you can see so I guess it's for foot pedals or uh, foot switches or whatever else you want but a pretty deep little cavity uh, neat uh, so we've got record outs and uh, output level there a couple of fuses and uh, this is the tape echo going into this outlet here And there's the back of the tape echo. Okay, again, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.